Good morning, second graders. Today we're going to work on the ladder, the baby animal's ladder on page 88 for writing. The directions tell me to read the clues, then write the words, start at the bottom, and climb to the top. So if you look at the bottom, the word bear was written at the very bottom of the ladder. And then the first clue tells me to, we're going to take these words and we're going to take away one letter. The clue for the word says that it's a flat block of something like a chocolate blank. So I need to think, what would go with chocolate? A chocolate blank if I take away one letter. So if I take away the B, I have the word ear. And I don't think that makes sense. It doesn't make sense to say a chocolate ear unless we're talking about a chocolate bunny. And that's not right. So I'm going to take away the E. And if I were to be able to slide the B over there by taking away the E, it would be B-A-R. And that spells bar. So would that make sense? A flat block of something like a chocolate bar? Yes, that's what, that would be the first word if we take away the E. So I would write the word bar, and it also makes sense because it's a three-letter word. And if you also look and you need a clue, all the words that you're going to use are written around. They're not written above the clue, though, so don't get let that confuse you. And right there is the word bar, so I know that that is one of the words I'm going to use. So I can put a little check mark by bar to show that I've already used that one, or just remember that I won't be using it again. And then I'm going to look at my next clue over here, and it says uncovered. Hmm. Something that means uncovered, and this time I'm going to add one letter. I will add one letter to the word bar to make it fit the clue uncovered, and it's going to be one of these words written around. Now, I'm not going to show you all the words because I want you to finish this by yourself, but then I'll make a separate video for you so that we can check to see if you have all the right words written. But I'm going to read all the clues. So after you've added a word to the word bar, then you're going to, and it means uncovered, then you're going to go over here to this clue. So you alternate back and forth. So this clue over here says concern, as in, I like to take blank of my new puppy. So it means a word that would make sense in that sentence, and you will be changing a word, changing one letter from this one right here. So you have to change. You won't take any letters away. Once you figure out what this word is, you just change one of the letters, and it will make sense in this clue. And then you go over to this side, and that means automobile, something that means the same thing as automobile and you're going to be taking one letter away from this word. Then again, you'll go back to this side, and it says, a mark on the skin from an old wound. And then from this word right here, you'll be adding one letter. So you'll take from this word, you add a letter, and it makes sense with this clue. Then you go to this side, and you'll be changing one letter to make sense to fit the clue, this is in the night sky. Then you go back to this side and take away a letter from that word. And it means a black gooey substance for patching roads. I know I hate to drive over this one right here because it gets all over my car when I'm driving on the roads. And then I go back to this side and it's a flap or loop attached to something. Rhymes with lab. And that means I'm going to be changing one letter from this word. And then I go back to this side where you take a bath. And you're going to change a letter. And then finally, the last word, you're going to change a letter from this one. And it means a young bear.
So boys and girls, that's how you do that letter or that sheet. We're going to, um, I'll come back to you in a minute and we'll check all your answers. But one thing I wanted to also tell you that yesterday and day before yesterday, we practiced just writing simple sentences and beginning our sentences with a capital letter and ending them with a punctuation mark, either a period or an exclamation mark or a question mark. So I thought that it would be a great idea for you to keep a journal. You know, we're going through a time right now that nobody in your family has ever experienced. Nothing like this. And although it's a little scary at times, it is something that you can keep a journal on or a diary. A lot of times people have kept diaries of things that have, they've gone through because there's some fun things that you're doing at home, I'm sure. And then there's probably some things that are not so fun and some things that are exciting and then maybe some scary things. And those are um, excellent things to write about, to write your feelings. It's a good opportunity. You know, a journal is like a diary. And many famous people have kept journals and diaries of different experiences that they've been through and they've actually made a book out of it and who knows maybe one day your journal or your diary if you want to make a book out of it you could actually um, be the author of it but I would encourage you to practice writing those complete sentences starting your sentences off with different beginnings of course, each page, each day should be started with a date because one day you'll want to look back at that and try to remember when the date was that you wrote that and what year it was. And so start with the date and just write your feelings for each day. How are you feeling? It may not necessarily be um, a good experience. It might not necessarily be a fun or exciting one, but just write your feelings. Write some questions that you have or tell something exciting that you have. Tell about the weather or just tell about your day. And remember, again, to start with a capital letter, end with a punctuation mark, and start with different beginnings. And then you can even go back and illustrate your journal. So I'll come back to you in a minute and we'll talk about the words to make sure you have all the correct words on your ladder. 